In our previous video, we have introduced the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT, which as we saw, it can be written in in 101 ways, so please do not just think of it as an, a single equation. It contains the pressure, the volume, the temperature, and the number of moles. All these variables re are related to each other. Okay, they are all variables. They all can change, except for one magnitude here. The value of R is a constant, and this one has, has only one value. It's not a, vari a variable. However, it's the constant, the value of the constant will have different values depending on the units of pressure, volume, and temperature that we are using. Actually, the temperature will always be in Kelvin. Depending on the units of pressure and volume, the value of R will be different. For example, we will use this value of R if the pressure is in atmosphere and the volume is in liters. We will use this value of R if the pressure is in pascals, SI, and the volume is in cubic meters. Okay, and we will use this value of R if the pressure is in tor. Tor is the same as millimeters of mercury, just the same. It's named after Torricelli, which is the scientist who did the experiment with the millimeters of mercury column, um, and the volume is in liters. So depending on the problem, and depending on the values of pressure and volume that you're given in the problem, you will use a different value of R. Let's see. So in this case, a sample of an ideal gas at temperature 293 Kelvin, and you are given the pressure in 202 kilopascals, or in other words, 202 times 10 to the 3 pascals, and you're given the volume in milliliters to make things even worse, right? Because notice that there is no value of R that includes pressure in pascals and volume in milliliters. It's asking how many moles are in the sample. We said that PV equals nRT contains four variables. So if you're given three, you're given temperature, pressure, and volume, it means that the fourth value, uh, the fourth variable is given. So if I put N on one side of the equal, it's easy to see PV divided by RT. Okay. The tricky part here will be to solve uh, this problem using the right um, the right values of R, volume, and, temp and pressure. So if we decide to use, say that I, I decide to use B, if I decide to use R131 joules over mole and Kelvin, um, this means I need to use pressure in pascals and volume in cubic meter. This means, in this case, the volume, that is 301 milliliter, I need to convert that into, into cubic meters. All right, so I know that 10 to the 3 milliliters is 1 liter, and then I know that 10 to the 3 liters is 1 cubic meter. Okay, so there you go. 3.01 times 10 to the negative 6 cubic meter. All right, so now I can use, in this case, let's say this case 1. In case 1, the pressure is in pascals, 202 times 10 to the 3 pascals. The volume is in cubic meter, 301 times 10 to the negative 6 cubic meter, divided by, what R am I using? This one. A31 joules over mole and Kelvin, and the temperature is 293 Kelvin. Okay, um, you may not see this as the joule doesn't cancel out with pascals. You have to remember that pascals is force over square meter, and for that is newtons. So newtons is Let's see, it's mass times acceleration, meter square, so meter square, this is kilo, um, okay, divided meter. So it takes some physics in here. So I'm, I'm not going to ask you to do that. I'm just going to show you that it will actually um, cancel out. Okay, um, the pa if you put pascals in SI like this, the joules, 
is a unit of energy. If you haven't taken physics, you probably do not know. So the joules are newtons times meter, and this me and the newtons are force times acceleration um, times meter. Therefore, kilo meter square divided by second square. All right. Uh, Believe me that if you put now these values in here, the in SI, everything will cancel out, and the only thing that will remain is moles. Um, those of you who have not taken physics, do not fe do not fear. You will have to believe me that this Pascal's meter cube cancel out with joules. Um, we will not. Uh, take for granted that you have taken physics, but those of you who have, now you know that it's actually canceling out. All right, uh, we could do the same problem, uh, moving this into liters and moving this into atmospheres, and then we would need to use the r, this value of r, 0.082, um, as value of r to solve the problem.